All right, well that was 100 pixels and that just about reaches the middle. Uh, so we'll try 180 pixels and I think that's about where I want it to be. And uh, yeah, so we just need to put a title in the middle now and get the effects really working. We'll preview it in the browser first and I'm going to use Firefox for that. So save the changes and I'm going to save it as overlay.html and also save the CSS. Okay, well I think that looks quite good. Um, so yeah, that's that's in the right position. Um, you can see the transparency there. You can see the rock and the sand behind it. So yeah, that's in the perfect position. So all that's left to do now is add a title and we'll spruce it up a little bit as well. So we'll go back into Dreamweaver now. Now I'm going to put my title in using a H3 header tag. You can use a paragraph tag or any other tag you want to really, but the chances are it's going to be a link to an important document or a page. So to put it in a header tag would be good. So I'm going to put mine in a H3. So I'm going to put in H3 and I'm going to give it a title. And I'm going to call that leaf on a rock. When you've made your title, press refresh and the text will appear inside of that overlay just on top of the background image, but it will be black because that's the default text color of any web page within Dreamweaver. So we'll have to change the text color to white, contrast it, and we'll go into the CSS and create a selector. Um, now as the title is in dot overlay, the class div, we will go dot overlay space h3 and open and close curly brackets or braces. Right, to target any attribute inside of another div or a class, you can go, in this instance, it will be dot .overlay, so we're going to say we want to manipulate something in dot .overlay, and what do we want to manipulate? Well, in this case, it's the H3, so that would be space H3, so target the H3 inside of dot .overlay, and uh, we're going to change the color to white, so use the color picker, and we'll select a font family while we're there as well and press refresh and I think that font looks a lot better that font family I think we'll change the size as well so we'll type in font dash size and uh, we'll change that to 1m and press refresh maybe that's a little bit too big so we want to make sure we can put a reasonably sized title in there if we're going to reuse the class uh, so we'll change that to 0.9m okay that's much better and increase the length of the title and it's always a good idea to make sure that you can you can fit a reasonably sized title tag in there and um, I think it's slightly it's slightly offset from the middle so we'll add a margin and I'm going to put margin dash top and uh, we'll give it five pixels just to see where it lies as well with inside of that layer and uh, okay so we can start bringing it down from there to try and line it up in the center I'll try 15 pixels and uh, just a teeny bit more 17 pixels okay that's much better okay so I'm going to preview that in Firefox I'm going to save the changes and the CSS and uh, there we go it looks pretty good so far um, it's the text is the right size we need to push it out slightly from the left though because it's right against that left edge isn't it so we'll go back in and create some CSS for that and uh, we'll just give it a little bit of a padding so we'll go padding dash left and we'll give it 10 pixels of padding and then I'm going to preview in the browser I'm going to use Firefox again okay that's perfect right so we, we've pretty much completed the effect that we wanted to create now the rest is just uh, improving it making it look slightly better and uh, we'll add a border maybe change the background color um, so we'll, we're going to duplicate this now and create one below it and again another one below that so we'll highlight all of the um, code that we've just made and we'll copy it and then we can create a space just below and uh, what we'll do is we'll we'll minimize that one that we've created there and we'll paste in the second one so we know which one we're dealing with and uh, we'll just swap out the picture so what we'll do is we'll go down into the properties panel and 
we'll grab the target icon and we'll just click and drag over to the image that we want to replace it with and I'm going to choose the kitten this time all right I'll highlight the title text and I'll change that to a very happy kitten like that okay um, we will preview this in the browser so I'll preview that in Firefox again okay that looks fine we just need to separate them out a little bit so we'll attach a 20 pixel bottom margin and we'll target the holder class for that so that's the div tag that's um, encompassing the image and the overlay it's the relatively positioned holder class so we're going to type in margin dash bottom and we'll give it a 20 pixel margin so every time we recreate this class and we put an image below it it will push it away by 20 pixels okay we'll copy and paste the class attributes again so we'll highlight the text we'll minimize it after copying it and we'll paste it in just below like that okay so let's change out the picture again that should reappear now yeah it's already there okay so we will touch inside of the image and we'll grab the points file icon and drive it over to the skyline and that's been replaced there and we'll also change the title text on that and I'll type in a city skyline uh, metropolis okay so we'll preview that in the browser just to make sure that that's also pushing away by 20 pixels so save the file and the CSS and there you go okay Now I'm also going to push it away from the browser window on the left so we're going to type in margin dash left colon 100 pixels and a semicolon and you'll see in design view that it's just pushed it away from the left edge of the wrapper and uh, we'll add a border while we're here as well so I'm going to give it a 5 pixel dashed black border now the default color is black but we'll use the color picker and choose the black color anyway put a semicolon on the end and we'll preview that again and I'll try Safari this time to make sure there's no cross browser issues okay it's looking good um, I think we'll add a top margin to push it away from the top of the browser window now or the top of the wrapper so we'll type in margin dash top and we'll give that 100 pixels from the top as well and we'll recheck that in Safari okay that looks really good we'll go into Firefox and we'll make sure the same changes happen there okay you just need to press the refresh button Now I'm just going to change the background color so we'll create a selector for the body and we'll type body open and close curly brackets background colon and pound 963 a nice sort of beigey light brown okay okay so I hope you enjoyed this transparent overlays Dreamweaver tutorial I certainly enjoyed making it if you are watching in YouTube please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe thank you very much i'll see you next time